Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Ambrose. We're actually starting to roll pretty nicely here, eight wins in a row. Let's see if we can't uh, keep that going. You know what? This is a great time for a conversation. A lot of people have been complaining. A lot of D100 lately. A lot of D100 lately. And then there's been the backlash. I don't understand why people hate the D100. I love the D100. It adds some variety. All admit there's been a lot of D100 action lately. I think I'm going to cool it on this run. I want to set that precedent right away. So if you go, oh, fuck this guy, you can just close the video right now. I'm probably not going to use the D100 unless it makes strategic sense to use it to get myself out of a jam. I'm also going to lower my own... Volume ever so slightly, there we go. Okay, that's so, so I can shout a little bit more. Okay, 6LS2 NMXP. We start with the quarter and decent stats. Uh, I actually, because you know that I can't be trusted to actually follow my own principles, um, I'm probably going to use the D100 right off the bat here just because it actually does give me... Well, it doesn't cost me anything. I lose the quarter, but I keep the money. So, like, who cares in that mindset, right? And then we will probably take nine lives, re-roll. Okay. I sh maybe could have kept the key, but... As, as much as I said that we weren't going to use the D100 unless it made strategic sense, it made strategic sense immediately. Now let's move on. Apart from that, we're going to stick with this run. Unless we have, like, incredibly terrible setup, or we um, find ourselves around, like, half a heart, no lives left, and we think that we're going to die. Because I'll admit, you know, it's, like, too much of a good thing. It's like, you like chocolate cake? Well, how about you eat chocolate cake for, you know, every single meal of your adult life? You're probably not going to like it so much at that point, are you? And maybe. I mean, I have seen TLC's My Strange Addiction, and you get, uh, you know, these people that, uh, you know, oh, I've only eaten chicken fingers every day since I was, like, nine years old. Don't do that. You have the chance. If you're watching this... I still believe that you can save yourself from the fate of the person who only eats chicken fingers. And I understand that we live in a society where um, we, we very much value personal freedom, and that's awesome. That's a great thing. If you only want to eat chicken fingers every day for the rest of your life, should you be able to? I think yes. And if everybody was as nice as me, the world would just be a lovely place where you wouldn't have to worry about being judged for eating a meal that's, you know, predominantly designed for small children. Um, that's, which is not fair, because I love chicken fingers as well. But anyway, there was probably a time in my life where if you had been like, all right, you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would have said chicken fingers. But you know what? You, it's a tough question. Nobody w ever wants to answer this question. If you, could, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I do think you can't loophole it. I don't think you can take a multivitamin. Uh, I think we're just going to leave. I don't have enough. Wait, can I buy a bomb from the shop? If so, I could actually open these golden chests and be pretty stoked. No bomb on the shop. I... Instead, can I get this bomb back here? There was probably a time in my life where I would have said pizza. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Necessarily. Or, or a bad choice. Necessarily. Um, there was probably a time in my life where I would have said uh, chicken fingers. You know what I would take now? And I've given this more thought than I probably should have. I would probably take chili. Let me count the ways. W uh, spicy for hot days. Warm for cold days. Great nutritional profile, high in fiber, you know, high in protein, you can make it in a di number of different varieties. Even if, going by the rules of the system, we can only have one variety, I'm okay with this. I still think it's the right decision. And delicious! That's the other thing, if, if they ever go, hey, you know what, you've eaten your own, the same meal for 10 years, we're gonna add on another food. I'd be like, you know what, give me some bread and a toaster, and then I'm in. So that's, that's why chili is the food that I would eat. But you know what? If you go for chicken fingers, that's fine. Just make sure somebody's there to slip you a B vitamin now and then. Um, this run is actually really good so far. Our stats are great. You may argue that it would have been more sensible for us to use a bomb to get the uh, Tinted Rock on the last floor. But we, we got okay with Spirit Hearts here to begin with. And I was kind of hoping uh, that we'd get more than just money out of our first golden chest. So we'd be able to open the second golden chest. But, you know, basically, whatever. Um, we're going to go check our curse room out here because of the fact that we are well first off it's a good decision but also we're closer to becoming guppy and i you know in a way i'm a little resentful towards the game okay we will um probably both of these are awesome so i th think we will die to pick it up and that's okay by me the run becomes a little scarier now but this is you know the value of uh of nine lives here for sure, but anyway, um, I resent the run a little bit for giving me the D100, but maybe if, if nothing else, it's a good time. 
for its convenient timing, I guess I should say. Because we've had a lot of D100 runs lately, and people have expressed their discontent. Some people have expressed their discontent. Now, I know that even just by bringing it up, now it's going to be like, NL, don't listen to the haters on the D100 stuff. I think there's, you know, when people say, like, don't listen to the haters, there's very valid concerns there. Because some people will just pop into your video and be like, this guy's got a stupid voice. You upvote this comment, please. You know, that stuff, just ignore it. Let it roll off your back. But uh, most of the quote-unquote haters when it comes to D100 stuff are long-term fans of the series who just don't like the fact that it's, you know, it's flavoring so many runs in a row, and I understand that. So try to avoid, you know, recognize this is a long-term series, right? If you're a, if you're a high-octane athlete and you eat two slices of pizza, don't go, oh, I guess this is a pizza diet now. I thought you were an athlete, now you're just eating pizza all the time. You just be like, you know what? Sometimes you eat two slices of pizza, and then you spend the next month, uh, you know, on a, a high-impact interval training program that requires you to, you know, eat a little healthy. You get, you get what I'm saying, is that, you know, the, what we're in right now, especially on a long-term series, does not necessarily dictate where it's going to go in the future. Just sit back, relax, and let yourself go. Don't act like you heard, or act like you know. Yes, yes, y'all. Who got the vibe? It's the tribe, y'all. Real live, y'all. Inside, outside, turn around. Who that? Brown. Okay, I mean, if you don't listen to the Trap Called Quest, that's going to seem like basically I just slipped into the ramblings of perhaps a mental patient, not to stigmatize mental illness to any extent. Um, but no, that was that was scenario open parentheses LP mix, one of the best posse cuts of all time. Okay, now just sure. I mean, we will take AAA battery. The run's great. Like it, it's one of those runs where. If it feels like the game is not te testing us at all, basically, at the present moment. We're fast enough, strong enough, have great items, deal with the devil precedent, uh, lots of spirit hearts, lots of defense, especially in the sense that we, um, you know, can die eight times and still come back. Um, and also, we're fast enough to have a chance to get at boss rush, and we have a good trinket, like, there's just all sorts of positive stuff working out for us right now that, um... Uh, Really makes it difficult to foresee this one becoming a loss. AAA battery is not really any better or worse than Bloody Penny right now. Uh, because I, I don't intend on using the D100. Unless we need to. And there are valid reasons to need to. Like, I really think we gained a lot from using it uh, when we had the quarter. Most other items, you know, you'd lose the, the statistical bonus. I mean, we might as well, I guess. For most other items, you'd lose the statistical bonus for having um, them when you rerolled. But for the quarter, it's like you start with 25 cents regardless. So, who cares? I really like, especially considering we have Death's Touch, Succubus. Um, not really, maybe that much more in the damage department, but we started with good damage. We do have Chemical Peel, but um, it, it puts us in a situation where basically, like, we're kicking the shit out of enemies. And it probably will continue to be like that for a while here. Bad gas. So any, all I say is, be, you know, I've I've been doing this a long time. I know that if you bring up an issue, it causes an argument. Because on every issue in the world, there's two groups of people who feel differently. Even if I said, you know, I think milk comes from cows, people would be like, Hey, you fucking asshole! What about goat milk? Wow, NL's so stupid, he doesn't even know the ins and outs of the livestock dairy industry, right? Like, it just happens. And I'm far past the point of being offended by it. But for our both of our well-beings, mental health, etc., etc., I would just suggest, you know, chilling out a little bit and enjoying the run. It's got Death Touch Rubber Cement. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let me take Piggy Bank here. Uh, I'd also really like to donate a lot of money on this run. Because we've been really rude to our donation machine lately, and it's been keeping us alive, or keeping us, you know, thriving even. But, uh, I think it would be a smart idea to be a little bit more forward-facing when it comes to our donation machine. And be like, you know what, donation machine? You've been good to us. I'm gonna stop making withdrawals from the bank of mom and dad, and, uh, start, uh, chipping some money back into the bank of mom and dad. At least if you could offer me, like, a fixed-rate GIC that has somewhat attractive rates. I mean, I'm not expecting, like, a 7% return, because that, you know, is not very good for the bank of mom and dad. But if you could at least give me, like, a 2%, I mean, I understand interest rates are not that high right now, but etc., etc. Okay. Um... I, well, we're gonna take Krampus' head. We've been to our item room, we've been to our shop. We're just gonna get rid of, um... The D100, and the temptation is gone, and the temptation is gone in a way that improves ourselves. Like, I didn't just settle for Gigafart when it showed up earlier, because that item mostly just makes me angry. 
So we probably won't get a deal with the devil on this floor, but we will get access to the curse room for free. This is a very comfortable, oh, very comfortable position to be in on this run. We're basically like, in order to lose this run, we would need to play very badly for a sustained length of time. It can happen. We could also come across a dice room. It can happen. But uh, apart from that, like, even good runs that we've had lately have not been this fast. And oftentimes in Isaac, a fast run is a comfortable run. Sometimes it means that you've got, you know, Epic Fetus and 1 HP. But uh, right now it means that we're in a position that is very amenable. And I will absolutely take a health upgrade that may actually be a health downgrade, but who knows. No deal with the devil. To be honest with you, it's kind of nice to get a break from a deal with the devil for the first time in a couple floors. Oh, getting all these good items is so tiring sometimes. Nigel, what do you say we go out for a bad item sometime? I don't know what that was. That was me trying to pretend to be like a fra character from Frasier or something. Niles. Is that... Yo, have I low-key had a good Kelsey Grammer impression inside of my body this whole time? Niles! How dare you? No, it's not really... Th Why does Kelsey Grammer in Frasier sound Shakespearean? Now, I'm, I'm trying to avoid a fallacy here, which is that Kelsey Grammer is Frasier Crane. But that would be a great tagline for a movie. This summer, Kelsey Grammer is... Fra Dr. Frasier Crane. That's more... That's Dr. Michael Kine. This summer, Michael Kine is... Dr. Frasier Crane. Crane? Oh, dude! It just, I realized that I'm lost in my own head right now, and people are probably like, please talk about the game or something, but that could be this summer's big blockbuster. Last spring, Batman versus Superman. This spring, Crane versus Kane. You might say one of them is a fictional character, one of them is a, a real person. That's uh, never stopped me. Why not? You know, you ever seen This Is The End? There's fictional characters in This Is The End, and there's also real characters, real, real actors and actresses that play themselves. I don't, like, I'm trying to write the script in my head here, but you know, it might take a couple of years to come together. It's kind of a high concept film. Niles! Bring me my low, low fat soy milk frappuccino. Niles! This. <laughs> Daphne! <laughs> Cut! Alright, I don't know. I'm telling you, man. Kane versus Crane could be the greatest action comedy dramedy biopic of our lifetime. Don't be ridiculous, Niles. I asked for a low fat soy milk frappuccino, not a snackuccino or a dunkuccino. I have to admit, I'm not. As impressed with my Kelsey Grammer as Fraser Crane impression as I thought I would be. But I think it hits the note. I think it hits the note you have to hit for it to be a Fraser impression. And you know what? That doesn't surprise me because I spent the first few years of my life at Kelsey Grammer School. Okay. Well, that's like the proudest I've ever been of a bit in an Isaac episode in a, in a couple of weeks here. So let's move along. Um, run is just like, it's mindless right now, but it's, it's mindless in a good way. Like, it's not mindless in like a, oh, you know, fuck you, mom and dad, I'm not gonna do my homework, I'm too busy playing Halo 6. Instead, not to disparage video games or anything like that, you know, it's not gonna bite the hand that feeds in this situation, but it's mindless in the sense that it's like, fuck you, mom and dad, I'm not gonna do my homework, because I already know how to do second order derivatives better than Mr. Jenkins does. He's only teaching us math because his own, you know, drive failed in university and he never managed to get himself into a master's program. Now he finds himself in a dead-end job teaching kids who don't care about him. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything like that. Okay. Lucky Rock. Eh, I mean, we don't... What do we care about money at this point? The only reason we'd care about it is to make donations, but we're already probably, like, at the LD50 for, uh... For a, uh... A donation machine. By the way, I'm not trying to suggest that teaching is not a fulfilling job. It can be. But I mean, like, I guess it's just true all around the world. May tell, correct me if I'm wrong here. But I think back to, like, the way our teachers were treated 
even in Canada, which is people are like, Canada's a paradise. I'm like, it's pretty dope most of the time, but like, kids are still rude sometimes. Like, people will be like, you know, Miss. These are all made up names, but Miss Johnson's a bitch. Why is she a bitch? She gave me a zero for not doing my homework. It's like that's the that's the cost of doing business, man. I guess you're just you know, it's kind of like especially as a young man, you're like. You're finding your way in the world. You're like, I don't need help from anybody else. I'm 15. I've got the world by the balls. You know, what What else could I possibly need? I've got all the life skills necessary to succeed. And then you're like, don't make me do my homework. I was going to smoke half a cigarette last night. You just fucked up my plans, right? Like, but when you get older, I mean, that's one of the things that I've really found myself being, like, ashamed by as I've gotten older. I've been like, man, you didn't treat teachers the way they should be treated not just because I taught myself but also because like they're there again other parts of the world might be slightly different but I know in the US teachers make like pretty poor amounts of money and you're like oh they get their summers off yeah but have you ever dealt with like your own kids for a long time it's annoying man you deal with your own kids for free because you had them teachers not only have to be like the daycare for your children but then they have to like teach them stuff and then if they f fucking fail them, you get mad at them because you're like, Hey, well, don't, my kid's self-esteem is fragile. Just because they didn't do any of the work or try it all or focus in class or etc, etc. That doesn't mean they should fail. Like, I thought we lived in a democratic country here. Real talk, this is gonna, like, smack of, like, corruption. I am gonna take this now, but I am gonna still play this turkey. Especially because we've got a Perthrow rune in here. I feel like we should try to get a uh, better play out. Eh, it's fine. We'll just take that. Um... And by take it, I mean re-roll it. Oh, that was a bad idea. Um, this is just the way it worked. Like, I, when I taught in Korea, I taught at a, a private school. And it doesn't have the same uh, vibe that... Yeah, we'll just go down. That a, a private school like North America does, where it's like a little bit more prestigious or, you know, religious-based or something like that. Rather, it was like everybody sending their kids to these private schools, so we don't want to lose their money. So even if a, you, like, get an essay from a kid, and it would be, like, taken from the internet, I'd be like... Jeremy, I've spoken to you in class today. Um, but, like, Jeremy, I've spoken to you. I know that you cannot speak English this eloquently. Like, you're eight years old. When I ask you, how are you, you say, you know, teacher, I'm Red Angry Bird. And then you write an essay, and you're like, here's the way to cook a beef wellington step by step. And I'm like, all right, this is, this is clearly plagiarized. And I was like, you know, principal, what do we do about this? And we're like, give them the lowest mark that you can give them at this school. A C. A C! But anyway. It's, well, I guess it's not just North America, then, is the point I'm trying to make. But I, it, what I'm getting at here is respect your teachers. You know, you have the chance to to diminish a little bit of shame that you'll feel in your adult life if you're just nice to your teachers right now. Even if, you know, some of your teachers might be bitches. But it's the thing, is, like, for you as a, as a teenager or an adolescent, your teachers are, like... Your, the school is like your environment, right? Like that's like your life. I'm gonna take this just for now, and I think that that's a weird decision. Okay, I'm gonna try something exceptionally intelligent because I'm the world's smartest boy, and my mom tells me so. Um, I'm gonna end my life here, and then I am going to. Well, I'm not gonna end my life. No, no, no. Yes, 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 I am. Okay, so we're gonna end our lives here. And then, on this room, we're going to end our lives again. Oh, we're not going to come back as Dark Judas as a result of doing this. So, this this actually was kind of a waste. Because I, I basically just lost a, a few spirit hearts for no reason. Which is not really that catastrophic at this point. But I, re I, I brain farted, forgot that we had nine lives. And was like, well, this will allow us to um, become Dark Judas and then get Abaddon. But really, we're still completely fine. But anyway, um... You know, the stakes seem higher, but for your teacher, you know, they're, they're doing their job and then they go home and, like, they have their actual family. So, they're most of the time you think your teacher's being a, a dickhead, they're probably just trying to do their job in, like, an acceptable fashion. So, be nice to them. Be nice to the school bus driver. Just be nice to, like, everybody. It's not hard to be, like, a bad person that people think is edgy. I'll be a dick to whoever I want. No, don't just be nice, man. It makes the world much better. We all gotta share this planet Earth. Someone's being rude to you, should you be nice to them? I sort of feel like, why not? You know, it's, you're just gonna make them feel bad. 
I don't know if I feel good about making anybody feel bad. I feel like being the bigger man is the... You know, there's validity in that. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. We've gotten into some preachy territory. Um, if you're wondering why I did this without going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. If you're wondering why I did this without going to the shop, it's because we had that forget me now. So I figured, let's go into our... Um, let's go into our boss rush and basically get a boss rush item for free. This will be a very interesting test to see if our damage is uh, high enough to justify that soy milk pickup. And honestly, so far, it seems really good. And see, you don't... Oh, there we go. You don't need a D100 run. Um, to, to create a zany run. Look at this shit right here. Ru well, we did use D100 to get rubber cement, but we got uh, rubber cement, death's touch, homing tears, soy milk. Like, this is a solid setup right here. One of the better soy milk runs I've had in a long time. Now we just need Libra to go along with it. Anyway, I'm just, again, be wary of anybody that's my age. I'm only 27. Half of you were like, that's super young. Half of you were like, that's senior citizen age. But, um,. You know, ha the, the point is, be wary of anyone my age giving you advice, because we don't know anything. Every, every adult's just figuring it out as we go. I'm still really early, hopefully, in my life experience. There's lots of room to grow, but, you know, if I could... Lots of room to grow, but if I could tell you, um, you know, a piece of advice for me personally, if you're in, like, the 15-ish range, be nice to your teachers. If you already are, fantastic. You're going to feel better about that when you grow up. I was nice to my teachers, by the way, but there's still moments where, you know, you think back and you're like, I could have been nicer. They're just doing their job. But then you get to college and you're like, you know, teachers suck, professors are cool, and you're like, it's a naive attitude. Anyway. I, well, you, excuse me, Grandpa, can you stop talking about uh, school, please? It's summer vacation. I forgot, man. I forgot that it's summer vacation in most parts of the world. I don't know how, like, overseas it works, but... Definitely July is like 100% summer vacation, Canada and America. Have fun with it, man. I, in in some ways, I miss summer vacation, but in I don't think I could go back. And that's not to say that it's not awesome to have, the, oh, it's so good. That's not to say that it's not awesome to have the time off. I just don't know what I'd do with myself. Like, you know, it's, it's hard. It, you don't realize it yet if, if you're of this age and you have a lot of free time. And not everybody that's younger has a lot of free time. I don't know. You might be the man of your house. You know, you might be the woman of your house for that matter. You might be doing all the housework, bringing home the bacon, working two jobs, etc., etc. Everybody's experience is different. But for me, you know, I was I was doing all right. or My, my family was doing all right. So my summer vacations until I was like 16 were basically like just, I don't know, fucking browse the internet until the new Madden comes out and then play that for like four weeks. I don't know if I could do that as an adult. It just feels wrong. Like, I've, I've kind of lost the ability to feel unproductive and still somehow, like, good as a person. It's a weird feeling. And I'm not saying that's the default or that it's the right feeling. It's just a weird feeling. Oh, we didn't make it back to second boss rush! I took 32 dang long seconds. That sentence doesn't really make any sense, but... Whatever. I'm still super stoked we got soy milk out of this. But I would have done boss rush. Especially if we could have gotten like a decent space bar item. Um, this run is going to be a win and a zany win. And we got to talk about, uh, you know, Michael Caine versus Dr. Fraser Crane. The must-see uh, event movie of this holiday season. So, I, I consider this episode to have been a roaring success so far. What's, what's your advice for de handling summer vacation? I don't know. I think... This is naive, because I didn't do this. I was a little bit, uh, at least like, in early in high school, before I understood like nutrition and fitness to even a mild extent, I was a little chubby, and it would be like, summer vacation, I'm gonna, you know, do 10,000 sit-ups a day, ride my bike four hours a day, and when I go back to school in September, I'm gonna be jacked. Everybody's gonna be like, how'd you do that? And I'll be like, I just did a lot of sit-ups, right? And then, you know, the second day of summer vacation, I'm like, ah, I'll start tomorrow. And then the 30th day of summer vacation, I'm like, well, only a month left, nothing I can do now. I guess we want the Bible here. Um, so, like, I understand that, that the attitude doesn't totally work. A lot of times, you just sit in your butt playing video games. I'll give you two options. We're going to take the pony here, for sure. You can either get really good at Overwatch, or another game of your choosing, or learn a skill. And learning a, learning a video game can be a skill. I'm not disputing that. Especially, you know, what if, what if you go on to win, you know, the International Nine? That's like two million dollars. Remember me. 
when you get there, all right? Give me a job as your personal life coach or something like that, because clearly I did something right to get you there. Did most of the work, honestly. I mean, you put it in the practice, but I planted the idea in your head, so... I mean, like, you dedicated your nights and weekends to it, but I said it was a good idea, so I think I'm entitled to probably 80 or 90% of your winnings anyway. Wait, I thought there was, like... Oh, there is an enemy left here. Um, or learn a skill, man. We live in the golden age. Of, of free online information. A little bias. Want to go to like, uh, you know, freecodecamp.com, learn how to do some programming. You like video games? It's the perfect time. I don't mean to make you feel like we're all made of meat and will die someday and be eaten by worms, but, you know, I definitely am. You guys, if you're a little younger, might manage to make it to the point at which we reach, uh, you know, escape velocity for immortality. Maybe you'll be able to upload your brains into a cyborg, and then you'll be like, Oh, Dad, I don't want to learn a skill. I've got eternity to learn skills. Wow, you actually had to learn things back in the day? Now we just put a USB stick into our assholes, and all the data is uploaded to it. You know, that's fine. I'm, I'm jealous, honestly. But, um, you know, learn, you like video games? Learn, learn some programming. Learn art, man. You very... The time in your life in which you have... Two months off, six weeks off, with with very few responsibilities for many people at least is is quite small. You know, if you want to do that stuff as an adult, you got to make sacrifices. You know, you got to quit your job or you know, work nights and weekends on it. Um, not that I'm speaking from regret or anything like that, but you got to make sacrifices. If you're doing nothing on summer vacation, you could learn a skill, or you could not, because that's like what I did on my summer vacations. I, I just played, you know the original Xbox. And you know what? It was pretty sweet. I have some great memories of those times. It's good for the soul, even if it's not, you know, good for the gander. That doesn't really make any sense. Um, I'm an idiot in the sense that I took brimstone here and then was like, all right, I have soy milk. And I forgot that I had soy milk because my run was so good to begin with. But um, brimstone soy milk tends to be bad. But the fact that we have... Uh, Homing tears makes it at least like a little hilarious, so I'm sort of for it, but it's definitely a lot worse than it was with the, uh, well, maybe not a lot worse because we can tap shoot so quickly, but it's definitely worse than it was uh, when we just had uh, Death's Touch. Like, what a run where picking up Brimstone made our run worse, picking up Soy Milk made it better. This is like... We've crafted our own weird Azazel run. By the way, Brimstone Rubber Cement is what's causing this interaction here. It's quite interesting. We're still not in a bad situation. Like, we're in a great situation. Just, like, not as great as it used to be. What would be sweet is if we got uh, Sad Bombs. Or even, like, I think Epic Fetus would work with it. Um, either of those would just be hilarious from the perspective of, like, making this run ridiculously OP, not that it's not already there, but um, every bomb, not that we have a lot of bombs unfortunately, but every bomb would have like brimstone lasers that bounce off the walls, ricochet, and home. But they wouldn't they wouldn't do that much damage I guess because of the, the whole soy milk thing, but still. So we don't actually need to really be in a position to aim at Isaac, so I should really focus on dodging as opposed to just maintaining line of sight. As long as we're in like a reasonable, or reasonably close uh, opportunity here. I totally forgot money equals power as well. Such a good item for us, especially with soy milk, soy milk where the uh, number one concern is like 99% of the time damage. So plenty of items could be interesting for us when we go down to the chest, but I don't know. I'm sorry this episode has been so um, preachy, you know, I, I'm, the Crane versus Kane jokes I'm all for, but uh, for the most part, uh, it's just because it got so uh, powerful right off the bat. Okay, does this even work? What in the world? Um, it got so powerful right off the bat that there was, there was nothing I could do. I had to pontificate, but as always, take it with a grain of salt. The Northern Lion brand is typically um, all about giving advice and then being like, but I don't really know what I'm talking about. You'll figure it out for yourself, right? Like, any, be wary of anybody who knows exactly what they're talking about. You ever read the, you know, biography of like a really, re read like Richard Feynman's biography? He's like, I don't know. I just, you know, my philosophy on life is just like, you know, do, do what you like and, you know, build a nuclear bomb and then crack jokes in front of your, you know, 
college students. It's you're like it's a refreshing perspective. It's a, always be wary of anybody who like who's like here's my you know ten step uh, plan to finding the meaning of life. It's like if it was that easy, there'd be Facebook videos about it being shared at all times. But the only thing being shared on Facebook is those 30 second recipe videos from Tasty. So clearly, I think the meaning of life thing we're still a little bit out on. Anyway, that's bad damage. We didn't get kind of any amazing items, I guess. Monstro's Lung is, is fun here, but it kind of... Not that I'm complaining, but it kind of messes up the homing like a little bit. A lot of shots are just completely missing, but... Um, still a cool looking run. I wish we could have gotten sad bombs though, but this is going to be win number nine. Ha ha ha, yes, mighty number nine joke. Ha ha ha. I haven't played it, but I, I was cynical going in, and, you know, nothing I've heard has really assuaged me from that. But anyway, that's another thing for another, this is another, don't start that circle jerk before the end of the video. It's another problem. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.